Hundreds march seeking justice for an Aboriginal elder who died in the back of a prison van. When people keep dying in custody, there's something wrong and it's got to be fixed up. Good evening, I'm Shalin Sarak. And I'm Matt Tinney. Also tonight, Kevin Rudd calls in the federal police as the Utegate scandal escalates. And clearing out the Perth house linked to the latest underworld killing. This is Nine News. More than a thousand people gathered in the centre of Perth today to send a cry for justice to the state government. The rally came nearly 18 months after the death in custody of a 46-year-old Aboriginal elder, Mr Ward, in circumstances the WA coroner called inhumane and disgraceful. Wrong room on the wrong floor. Next on Nine News, the secrets that led to an American couple breaking the record for the time they've spent together. Also, how the mighty batting of Adam Gilchrist helped Aussie kids get new bikes. And why shoppers in Garden City thought they should dance. Hundreds of Aussie kids with disabilities will be getting bikes thanks to the talents of WA cricket star Adam Gilchrist. Gilly was set the challenge of hitting 25 sixes in the RPL. Candice Barnes, Nine News. Time for sport now and here's Mark Reddings. Thank you Charlene. Coming up, two heavyweights slug it out in the WAFL and the all-conquering Cats hit Perth. Also, Brett Peake pays the price for breaking curfew. And Adam Scott in striking distance at the US Open. What a beautiful result. Get out. Dump docker Brett Peake has put in a solid performance after being sent back to play with East Fremantle today. Peake was dropped after breaking a team curfew and drinking alcohol last week. It's believed Brett Peake stayed out drinking beyond a midnight curfew before a training session the next day. Nine news. As they say, better than bank interest. That's all in sport for this Saturday. Enjoy your night. Thanks, Mark. The forecast is next. And Lee Steele will be here with details of an unsettled week ahead. Hello, the wild weather eased a bit overnight but it was still wet and windy today. We will get a break early in the week but it'll be very short lived. There's been some good rainfall since 9 o'clock yesterday morning. 37 millimetres fell at Pemberton, 35 mils in Albany, just over 30 was recorded in Colley, Catanning and Bickley while 11 fell in Perth. The satellite photo shows isolated showers over parts of the Pilbara and the Kimberley and cold westerlies are bringing a few showers and the odd storm to the southwest. Now this low pressure system in the bright bite means more cold winds and rain through southern WA tomorrow but a high will move through in the afternoon and by Monday there'll be fine conditions everywhere but the south coast and the Eucla. Around the country tomorrow dry in Adelaide, Melbourne and Hobart but some showers in Canberra, Sydney and Brisbane and a sunny day in Darwin. In WA sunny in Broome after a possible morning shower, fine in Caratha, a couple of showers in Geraldton and Bunbury, wet in Albany with a top of 12 and it'll be cold in Esperance with showers and hail. Off the coast, decent swells are expected again tomorrow. It'll get to four metres at Rottnest, dropping to three metres later. Winds from the south-southwest, moderate to fresh at first, then easing during the day. The temperature in the water is about 19 degrees. So a shower or two in the city tomorrow, clearing later with a maximum of 16 after a low of seven degrees overnight. Then mainly fine for the start of the working week, though cold on Monday morning, diffing to three degrees. Then another cold front will bring widespread rain to WA from Tuesday, It'll stay wet through the week with temperatures in the late teens. Matt and Shalin. Thanks, Lee. And that's the latest from the Nine News team. We'll have updates throughout the evening. For now, though, good night. Good night.